Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and today we have a full day first impressions that I'm really excited about it. As you guys all know, I am super partial to the drugstore, the land of all the cheaper goodies, and like some of my favorites have come from the drugstore. Don't get me wrong, some of my favorite things are definitely expensive, but some of them are not. So we're hoping to find some new, good, cheaper alternatives today with a full face of Maybelline. I'm really excited now because it's literally a full face. I mean, I have everything here. Like, everything here that we should need to do my face. Wow, I'm not looking forward to taming this mane after I'm done. Okay, anyways. <laughs> The ADD is real. Actually, I don't have it. Of all the things I don't have, that's one of them. Weird. But because I do have so many products to get through, I'm going to be kind of buzzing through them. We're not going to talk too much. Literally, it's going to be like product to product to product. Hopefully. That way, it's not like four years long. So first, we're going to go in with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Now, I have heard good things about so many of these products that I'm just like, what? Must try. Oh, ooh. okay. Silicone. Was not expecting this. And I, and like, what's funny is as I was picking these products out, I was like, how am I supposed to choose, like, what I want? And then I was like, you know what? I want to go with some of the cult classics, some of the ones that have been around forever. And this was one of them. And you guys will see them as I go through and be like, wow, Paige, you really did go with nothing new. Okay. Because, well, it, like, some of them I just, I wanted to try what everyone else, like, what's all the hype about? So I have to know. Okay, now this next part, <laughs> we might have a technical difficulty with. So I grabbed foundation. Okay, nothing wrong. But they only the only foundation I could find was 20 Classic Ivory in the Better Stay foundation. This foundation has had rave reviews. But I'm like, I don't think 20 is my shade, y'all. I think that's a little dark. <laughs> so we might have a little work to do in that department. I thought if this says 20 Classic Ivory, wouldn't it stand to reason that there would be a 10 ivory of some sort or a porcelain 10 because 20 typically you don't start at 20 my god does it ever come out of the bottle going on with the booty blender let's do this oh yeah it's definitely dark <laughs> that's all right it's almost just like i have a tan okay so that foundation goes on beautifully but i did just put like one and a half to two coats right here and i'm having a hard time getting it to cover so i think i'm gonna try the other side with a brush and see if maybe i can get some better coverage we're just going to go in with an IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Brush, or Foundation Brush. Blah, blah, blah. That actually goes on pretty nice. Okay. Dropping everything. But that does go on pretty nice with a brush. I'm going to just pat it out because I'm neurotic, but it goes on real nice. I actually am loving the finish of this foundation. I can definitely see why everybody loves it. Holy cow. Looks beautiful. Oh man, I got some blend. I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera or not, but I got some blended to do on my neck. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to look good. Moving on. Wow, so far I really like this. I'm doing good so far. You guessed it, guys. Next up, we have the Better Stay uh, Concealer. I almost said foundation again. All right, let's conceal. Oh, and this is in the shade 01 Ivory. Another reason that makes me think there must be an 02010 Ivory for the foundation. But on the upside, if I had had that color... This one looks so nice. I am busy. So I think that this is a really nice concealer, but I did have to layer it up twice for my innermost corner for my like blue little circles in there. And it's still not 100% covering them, but it is beautiful. Like, I just don't think that the coverage is all that amazing. Okay, next we are going in with the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Trans, Trans Setting. Okay, Translucent Setting. But whatever. I mean, who, who uses words these days? Am I like crazy? This has a very similar consistency, smell, everything to the Urban Decay Velvetizer. Like, it's just a different color. But it looks, feels the exact same, goes onto my brow. Like, everything is so similar about that. Mm-hmm. Because that's one of the biggest things with the Velvetizer is that it's hard to pick up because it's so silky. And this stuff, like, does not want to come on my brush. So it looks like the only thing I forgot to grab, <laughs> my bad, was a um, eyelid primer. So I'm just going to use my Smashbox eyelid primer. And then I'm just going to set it down with that same translucent powder. All right, so far so good. Now we're going to go in with the Brow Precise Micro Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. Deep Brown. I don't know if I picked that one on purpose or on accident, but we will find out. 
So, so far this pencil, okay, it's not the worst pencil I've ever used, but with that being said, if you were to remove this color, it'd probably be very red, because to get any color out of this, you have to go over 100 times, which can, I mean, it's kind of okay, because it forces you to take little more natural strokes, which I, I'm okay with, but like, it's hard to even get the color to stay in my brows, like I comb the spoolie through, and I lose color, and then I have to go over it again with what feels like a tattoo gun. Okay. So any hate we're going to have for my brows, we can just leave that in our back pocket because I think I did pretty good considering the circumstances and the hours of painstaking process that that just took me. So we're just going to move on and pretend like it never happened. On the upside though, what I did like about working with this, and yeah, there are a couple upsides. I did like the featheriness that it like made my brows look like. They look a lot more natural. The color is actually a really good match for me. Like it's it's not as deep as a lot of the ones, which is ironic because the name is Deep Brown, but it's not as deep of a color as what I usually use, like with my Anastasia. It that usually ends up making me look a little bit too like whoop bam in the brow department. And this is actually a nicer color. I just wish that it applied a little bit easier. But even I mean, I don't know. Like I'm not hating hating it. But like on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it like a solid 6, 7. Like 6? Six, probably more close to 6. Because my brows feel like they're going to bleed. So let's move on. So for eyeshadow, we are going to go in with the Blushed Nudes palette. Oh, and we're going to drop that. And it looks a little something like this. That's beautiful colors. I picked this one because, well, first of all, all of these palettes received a ton of hate. And I was just like... Why? Let's see what all the hate is about over here. I'm going to start by going in with this little matte shade right over here. Just to kind of see what, how the shadows work. Not a, lot of, not a lot of kick up. That's not bad. Okay, what else? What do we want to go with? The, today's look is going to be real simple because as you can tell, like I can't go too crazy here. Um, I do want to start by building up the crease, I think, with this brown. It's kind of like a shimmer shade. Because there are not a lot of deep colors in this palette, I'm kind of just building that one up to be really deep. All right, I just went ahead and kept adding up that same color until I got the desired effect. You know who would love this palette is my mom. My mom would absolutely love this. This is totally her, like, genre right here. She lives in, like, the light color mediums. She'd love this. Okay, we're going to go in with this dark shade right here and just kind of buff up that outer crease area. Oh, that's pretty. I think it's supposed to be like a black shimmer, but it just went on like a dark brow. I can definitely see why people would have a problem with this palette. Like the pigmentation is a little bit off, but I mean the colors go on really well and they're very pretty. So I think it's all about like, you know, if you're doing something like what I'm doing, I can make this work. If you went into it really wanting these colors to be like rich, yeah, you're going to be kind of disappointed. Now for my inner part, what do I want to go with? I'm going to try this white shade over here, this shivery white one, all the way over in the corner. Um, I'm really going to have to work this color up because, like, look at this. Like, there's, it, it, and, like, you put it on your hand and you get literally almost nothing. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to, okay, we're going to glitter glue. And I think we might wet a packing brush. Dropped another brush. Son of a B word. That's actually not so bad. Okay, you know what, Paige? I'm, I'm feeling it. Good job. I am going to take a little bit of that brown shade that we used before, the one that was the one that I built up in the crease, the one that was the one that was the one. All right, now I did not, for some unforeseeable reason, pick up an eyeliner, which is weird, um, by them. So I'm just going to go ahead. I am going to line, tight line my upper lashes, and I will be right back. There we go. Okay, we're going to get rid of this fucking stick before it runs away. Um, we're going to go in with the Master Contour Face Studio Maybelline little, little, little. Looks a little something like this. I picked this up in the shade 10, light to medium. Um, I have a feeling that this contour is going to be little to nothing, but hey, that's actually, that's not bad. Okay. Paige, when are you going to learn to just shut up and try stuff before you have an opinion? All right, go in with the contour shade. Now, I have heard some pretty, some pretty uh, dicey things about this palette. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I do see a ton of kick up. I'm wondering if maybe it went on a little bit pink because it's right next to a blush. Like, what if maybe some of that had kicked over? I didn't see any, but that doesn't mean maybe there wasn't, like, a thin layer on top of it. Okay, next we're going to go in with this blush. It's a very pretty blush. Yeah, that definitely had to be it because there's, like, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but this is the blush, and then this is where I first put my bronzer. And I think that there was red mixed in or pink, this blush mixed in with this bronzer. Which is, I mean, that's not their fault. That could have happened during transit or something, but whoops. Okay, let's try to blend this out, shall we? <laughs> yeah, my face looks really red now. Um, let's take a look at this highlight shade, though. Is it pretty? Eh, 
I mean, it's okay. It's nothing I would write home about, but girl, one of the reasons you know we had to try this. Maybelline Chrome Collection. Um, I think this is the only one. This is in the shade 100 Molten, Glo Molten Gold. And I think this might have been the only shade that they came out with. Um, I think. I haven't seen any other ones. And believe me, normally I would not go for a gold hue because that is so not my color. Actually, I don't know if I can... Eh, I mean, we're going to try it because hello. Um, but we're just going to go in real light and see if it works or not. Where the hell is my brush. Now I'm going to go in really light with this because I have a feeling this is not going to work, but I still want to try it. Holy crap. That is gorgeous. I mean, it's totally not a match for my skin tone, but wow. Oh my gosh. I am sorry. That is so beautiful. Okay, Maybelline, where's the pasty people color? Because yes, yes, girl. But it's like, oh my god, that's so pretty. I'm telling you, that just like immediately sat down in my skin. Like it was just like, oh, like the best behaved little kid you've ever seen in your entire life. Now we're going to go in with this slightly more boring highlight after that one. I mean, that was definitely the showstopper. Okay, so that's not a bad layer. I think this just like really helped take away the gold, but it left like the shine of the other highlight, which is nice. Okay, next we're going to go in, we're going to set the face with the Master Fix uh, wear boosting setting spray. I was looking for like the official title, but I think that's what it is. So let's go ahead and get our spray on. For some reason, this looks really familiar. Like I've used it before, but I don't like think I have. It has a pretty good spray on it. I mean, it kind of has a little bit of a to it, but like not a bad one. Not nearly as bad as the other ones I've tried in the last week and a half. Oh dear Lord. Okay, so this might sound insane, but like for lashes, I'm really excited. Um, I'm like over the moon. My 12-year-old self is dying right now. The Great Lash Mascara, this pink tube that's been around since the dawn of time. And I'm just like, yes, it's like this 80s pink tube. I'm so excited. So I will go ahead and put this on off of camera, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, that is it. I went ahead, I finished off my face. Um, I did go in, I loved, I actually really like this mascara so far. My lower lashes, I'm gonna do a zoom in so you guys can kind of see everything, but I love this mascara. My bottom lashes have never looked this luxurious, wow. And then for lipstick for right now, I went in with the Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Lover number 15. Um, I really like the, the style of the applicator on this lipstick. It is such a gorgeous, I don't know how well that's going to pick up, but it has such a nice point to it. Like, I, it was very precise. The only thing I don't, I'm not a big fan of is I don't know if this is going to pick up or not, but like, it's a very gummy, like, has kind of a, no, it's not going to. It like has a very like pull consistency to it, which kind of like threw me off for a second, but it's drying down pretty good. Um, I would definitely be cautious on putting too much. Like, I, I think I had a little bit extra on the insides, like where my lips meet over here. And I can still feel that a little bit sticky, but the rest of it dried down pretty good so far. So I just wanted you guys to be able to see. I don't know how well my lashes are going to pick up on camera, but they actually turned out really nice. Um, you can kind of see, actually, no, you're not going to be able to. The brows, oh good lord. But the shadows worked okay. They, I think that we lost a little bit of like pigmentation there. Um, but look at this foundation. Like, oh my gosh, I look so glowy and like it's the wrong, totally the wrong shade, but it is beautiful. Like I would wear this shade. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that looks so beautiful. Like, I really hope that the finish is picking up on camera because it looks so good. Okay, I'm going to go. I will check back in at the end of the day, let you know if it stayed this beautiful, and we will go from there. But oh my goodness, it looks so nice so far. So I hope it stays this nice. And then after lunch, when I normally end up taking off this lipstick, I will be trying out the, I don't know what this is, just the matte lipstick doesn't say anything fancy in the shade 540 peach buff it's like this beautiful just like light kind of nude color that I'm really excited to try um it really caught my eye I was like oh yes and I think that like for an after lunch look I think this would be beautiful maybe with gloss over top who knows um but yeah I will check in with you guys at the end of the day and let you know how everything wore okay you guys it is 8.30 at night, which means this stuff has been on my face for like well over, what, 12, 13 hours, something like that. 
I am shook. I will zoom you in. I will let you look at my face. I only blotted once today and I am not kidding when I say this foundation could be like top two foundations I've ever used. It literally wore on my face like skin. And I have heard so many good things about this but that, what is it even called? Better skin. I have heard so many good things about this and I thought that they were all just like being dramatic. No, they're all 100% serious because like and you, when we zoom in and you can look at my under eye, I did have and I left it there for a reason. I had a ton of transfer from the mascara to my lower like down here in my bag area. It's like straight black and I don't know if that's oil or transfer. I don't know what that is. Um, again, the only thing that's different is everything. So <laughs> it has to be the products. It's not my face um so that's kind of a bummer I don't know if that's the mascara I'll keep switching it out to see kind of maybe it's the concealer maybe the concealer you know couldn't stand up against it I'm not sure um but this oh my good lord like my skin still looks so good it does not wear cakey at all which is amazing for how much I put on my face the only thing about this that is bumming me out the only thing is I feel like I did have to give up coverage, like quite a bit of coverage, because my face is not nearly as covered as I would like. Um, this is, for me, this was not a like full or maximum coverage or anything like that, but it is something I think that if I were to use this and then just go in where I needed to with like a shape tape or a really intense concealer, I might be able to make it work. So let me zoom you guys in and we can kind of look at the close up together. Okay, so look, oh, probably should take those off. So first of all, this is how much transfer we're talking. Like that's not a little bit, that's quite, that looks like I was crying tears, okay? That is a lot of transfer um, and that is very abnormal for me. I, I mean like I always get a little bit, but this right here is very excessive, which tells me that there was not okay, which tells me there was not a good enough barrier between my skin and my oil and my lower lashes or my upper lashes or whatever because that's really the only thing that would make it do that which is probably the concealer which we knew about because this morning when I used it I said it wasn't that great for like what I needed it for so that could be the problem um all through here though like look at this is normally like my biggest problem area right through here and like look at that there's like no signs of cake at all anywhere like it is this it's beautiful it literally looks like my skin so let's kind of look oh, sorry my face itches <laughs> let's kind of look at these products like one by one obviously like my number one winner right here is going to be this foundation this is fan fantastic i just hit myself in the face with it and i don't even care that's how great it is um i loved this let's keep zooming here what else was there so i think that these did an okay job this is the setting powder and this is the setting spray i think they did an all right job i think that they settled things down do i think that they're like amazing the best i've ever used no um will i probably want to use these again in the future Eh, not so much. They weren't my favorite, but they also weren't bad. I think that they all worked really nice with the foundation, and you can tell that they were all intended to kind of work together in a sense. Okay. I hate it when telemarketers call while I'm filming. So rude. Um, okay, let's keep going. So we kind of know that for me, both of these palettes were definitely not favorites. I think that these were okay. I was able to build them up and make them work, but for how much you have to build these, I don't think that they are something that I would use again. I just like, eh. And they're so like, if, if these shades themselves were, they had the pigment to kind of stand alone and you didn't have to do so much build up, I think that they could potentially be beautiful. But the fact that you have to build them up so much, it, it creates more of a muddy look, which is why I was able to do like a darker, more intense smoky eye today is because, you know, quite frankly, all I could pull off was a smoky eye because all the light shades are all the same, almost the same shade of light. And then all the darker shades are going to blend together to be just one dark shade. So that's kind of a bummer about this. And we all know from this morning how I feel about this contour kit it wasn't the worst contour kit like it wasn't you know horrible but it definitely wasn't my favorite I think that the contour was okay and I think that it lended itself well to the foundation I think they went together nicely um I think that all three of them could have been okay but the biggest problem I had is that they think and again it was from this morning but I think that maybe the blush ended up getting over onto the bronzer because there are the contour shade because they are a little bit um, like powdery in a sense so I, that could have been just in transit or whatever but it did cause me to have that pink shade up here um, the highlight is nothing that I would write home about it looks more like a um, 
like a lighter translucent under eye setting powder than anything else. The blush is pretty. I mean, like, I'll give the blush that. But again, nothing that I would buy this entire palette for. Um, so overall, both of these I think are a pass. But this Master Chrome Highlight. Okay, Maybelline, listen here. If you don't listen to anything else I say, we need this in more shades. Preferably like a really light white shade, maybe a white monochromatic or a white shape-shifting type situation because this, this girl, this is money. This is where it's at, okay? We are in the, the year of the highlight. And I like, how do you live without this? Like seriously, I, like as if you guys didn't see it already, but oh my good Lord. Like it's just, it's so beautiful. Like, this to me, you'd never know. And it blends out like a dream. Like, it, oh, look, just a shiny patch. Oh, so beautiful. This is a billion dollars right here. Love this. Huh, on this. Now, in a shocking turn of events, um, I did use, as we talked about, this lipstick. I thought someone was coming in my room. This lipstick, let me talk about this here. This matte ink. Mm -mm, girl, I had to wipe it off after, like, two hours because it was awful it was gummy on my lips no matter what it didn't dry down and then when it did I could like feel it oh I think the color is beautiful I think the formula is horrible initially this morning I really liked this mascara I thought it was really good um after today and the issue that I had with it being all down in my grill over here I don't know about this maybe it's just I can't use it on my bottom line lashes even though on my bottom lashes is definitely where it looked the most beautiful. So that was kind of a bummer. So I don't think I'll be able to use this one again just because that much transfer is a little ridiculous. But the lashes did look amazing. So if you're not super, super, super oily like I am, this might be an amazing mascara to give a try. Um, we did talk about the Super Stay Concealer. It didn't do it for me in the sense of concealering, you know, my issues. I tried it on my red spots. I tried it on my under eye. Eh, didn't really didn't really do it but what I will say is I think that I think it might have been Casey Holmes and it might have been this I don't even know I could be making all this up but I saw one of them use like the um the shake tape on the inner eye and then as they moved out they used a different thinner concealer and I think that is a great concept so I'll definitely try that but as far as like covering blemishes and being like a, a real industrious concealer it didn't do that so much for me but this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, okay, I can't say like for sure, but I'm telling you my pores have like never looked this good. When we did that close up, you didn't see any pores because there are like none to be seen. They look so good. And I think this, this might just be like holy hell amazing. Didn't do much for oily though. So I might have to find a way to like mix this in with an oily, like anti-oiled situation and like try to mix them together. I don't know yet. We're gonna become a chemist, but this, I think this might've been amazing. Oh, and we already know my feelings on the brow pencil, so I don't need to talk about that. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't the best, wasn't the worst, you know. Eh. Now, this lipstick, we do need to talk about this. Where is it? This lipstick. It's just in the shade 540 Peach Buff. It's a matte lipstick. I have put this thing on and reapplied like 10 times today. This is such a creamy matte. I just dropped my purse. Why do I drop everything? But this, don't get me wrong, the color was not my favorite, like... It's very, very, very light for what I thought it was, but it is so, like, creamy. Like, if I had this in a different color, I would be 100% in love. So I don't think I like this color, but this formula is so worth checking out. I got away with it. I wore this with a gloss over top, and it looked so beautiful. It wore really, really well. Even as it wore down throughout the day, it looked amazing, and it's just a great, and it smells good, too. Like, it has, like, a perfumey smell. But it's not overwhelming. I think I might have just got some on my nose. Real cute. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. Um, I know that that's kind of like a really random video. There wasn't even anything that was like released by them. I just had to try their stuff and a bunch of it all at once because I'm excessive. So I think that's it. If you guys ever have any comments, likes, questions, whatever, anything, leave them in the comments below. I am like so, so, so curious to hear from you guys. I love it. I love doing stuff like this because I like to keep it affordable, high end, you know, curiosity, weird gadgets, acne, like all that kind of stuff. I'm all about it. So leave me your comments, suggestions, likes, subscribes, all that stuff because I like to hear it. I'm one of those people. I'm weird. I don't know if it's just me. Whatever. But I will talk to you guys all later. Bye. <laughs> yeah.